Currently, hundreds of millions of people in Africa depend on groundwater for their basic needs. Farmers, communities, industries and towns will increasingly rely on this resource. How groundwater is managed and shared in the future will be central to securing people's lives and livelihoods. Countries in sub-Saharan Africa have highly variable climates which affect rainfall, river flows, lake levels and groundwater. UpGrow researchers investigated the age of groundwater. They also looked at historical groundwater level and rainfall data. They found that in wetter areas, recharge happens every year, but in dry land areas, substantial recharge takes place less regularly, often just once or twice a decade. Climate change is expected to make rainfall in sub-Saharan Africa even more variable. It is expected that there will be a greater number of heavy rainfall events. The frequency and intensity of floods, as well as the frequency and duration of droughts, are expected to increase. UpGrow research shows that this intensification may favour the recharge of groundwater. Groundwater can provide vital year-round water supplies and is a lifeline for livestock when ponds and rivers are dry. In dry periods, hand pumps are often the only water source available. People depend on them for different water uses. Hand pumps used by rural communities do not withdraw a lot of water and the shallow aquifers that they rely on generally receive enough recharge. Groundwater needs protection from pollution and water quality needs to be monitored. In many African cities, groundwater is becoming polluted. In fact, many shallow aquifers are heavily polluted. At the scale of the African continent, UpGrow research has shown that there has been no substantial decline in the volume of water stored in the major aquifer basins over the last 15 years. However, local contexts do differ and in some African cities, groundwater levels have fallen because of large-scale localized pumping.